Hello there researchers, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial we are going to see the difference between moderation and mediation analysis and how to apply them to Likert scale data or ordinal data. So in this first part uh, we are going to view this theoretically and in the second part we are going to move to some applications. So stay tuned. So as a, an outline of this uh, tutorial, first we are going to see key definitions or definitions of key concepts, namely moderation and mediation, how each one is interpreted and uh, is used. The second uh, section is going to be devoted to the difference between moderation and mediation analysis. The third section is going to be about why we use moderation and mediation analysis. The fourth and fifth uh, sections are practical and they are going to be about mainly on how to use moderation and mediation on Likert scales and how to interpret the results. Okay, so uh, this uh, tutorial is going to be mainly theoretical and stay tuned for the practical part later, all right? So uh, as key definitions or uh, definitions of key terms, moderation, uh, here checks how third variable fits within the relationship between the dependent and independent variables. It aims to test whether the third variable affects the strength and direction of that relationship. It may be changed from strong to moderate to nothing at all. All right. So this is the definition of moderation. What about mediation or mediator variable? A mediator mediates the relationship between the independent variable on the one hand and dependent variable on the other hand explaining the reason for such a relationship to exist so this is to some extent causal in a perfect mediation an independent variable leads to some kind of change to the mediator variable which then leads to a change in the dependent variable the purpose of mediation analysis is this is to see if the influence of the mediator is stronger than the direct influence of the, uh, the independent variable all right, so let's move now to the difference or the main difference between moderation and mediation. So a moderating variable or moderator affects the strength and direction of the relationship between two variables, while a mediating variable or mediator explains the process through which two variables are related. All right, so in this basis, moderation can be analyzed without having any uh, utilities or extra add-ons, whereas mediation needs to have or uh, requires a spaces to have an add-on which is uh, process analysis all right so this is the main difference theoretically and practically uh, why we use moderation or mediation so we use moderation and mediation to study complex correlational or causal relationships okay so this is the main purpose okay so how to run moderation on a spaces so uh, we open a spaces, so I'm going to explain this just theoretically. We compute the mean scores of Likert scales by going to compute variable, then uh, statistical mean and uh, moving the items of the Likert scale to construct a composite scale or composite item. Then we calculate the interaction of the, the independent variable and moderating variable through compute variables and we use multiplication and we go to analyze regression linear regression all right we move to the dependent and the independent variables to their corresponding lists and then click next to move the interaction variable and then just check some boxes there and click ok and you are going to have the analysis of moderation so we don't need any add-on all right whereas uh, mediation so we should install first process macro from this website that you can see here I'm going to leave uh, the link below, check, so check the description box. Then when you download this uh, process macro, we, you go to utilities in a spaces and install the extension. All right, so we are going to, to find it there, locate it and install it. Then when we finish the installation, we go to analyze and we go to regression process macro so we are going to find the new uh, button called process macro there you try to click on it all right so we move the outcome and independent variable there and the the m variable uh, to the moderation variable all right 
and in the, the model number is found in the template so you when you download the process macro you are going to find the document named templates try to locate the, the model that you have in your conceptual framework there and then try to pick up the same number in, uh, on these spaces all right then when you once you t you do this uh, you try to go to options again check confidence intervals effect size total effects model compare indirect effects and click ok okay then you are going to uh, have uh, no output with the uh, analysis so that's it theoretically uh, so this is how to run mediation uh, to interpret mediation you can find the p-value and the coefficient of the relationship and you can see whether uh, the mediation is statistically significant or not all right so that's it and uh, thank you for your attention so the next part of uh, the video is going to to be devoted to an, a practical example so check the description box below and if you have questions or remarks try to uh, post them below or talk to me directly via my whatsapp i will be glad to answer all your queries and see you in another tutorial